Hello guys welcome to CFX channel. If you want to watch more video like this always stay subscribed. In this video, I will try to show you an easy way to run a PowerShell script on System Startup. If you have some apps which you open immediately every time you sign into your Windows account, it's possible to configure these applications to launch automatically to get to them faster. On Windows, you can easily control app startup behavior via scheduled tasks or by placing shortcuts in the startup folder or using registry run key. Each method has advantages and disadvantages, for example creating a scheduled task is a bit complicated for novice users and involves many steps. There is a free and portable application that does the counted methods with one click. How to launch apps and scripts during startup on Windows Monetized by OptAd360 The Auto Start Tool version 1.1 supports all scripts and software. One of the conveniences of the tool is that it supports PowerShell scripts. This means that you can run a PowerShell script automatically at System Startup with all three methods. 1. Use Scheduled Task Allows you to start a software or script at System Startup with the help of scheduled tasks. Just click on it and choose the file. Then give name the task to run at startup and use OK button a pop-up window will show when the user logs on ceofix.net task will run automatically message then task manager will open to check the task existence. To delete the task you can right click the task and choose delete or you can use delete the task button on software GUI. Two, add to startup folder. Automate the process of creating shortcuts to the startup folder, which you can do it manually by type shell, startup and run. To delete it, open startup folder and right-click the shortcut that's all note, applications and scripts that require administrator privileges will not work with this method. Three, use run registry key. This method allows you to automatically run software or scripts at system startup with the help of the run key in the registry. Click the button and choose the file then file will be executed on system startup message will pop up. To delete the startup file from registry use delete the key button and choose the file again. Okay. That's all. Please subscribe CFX channel. 
If you like this video, leave a thumbs up and you can comment. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.